Hey, can we do a little um, Hadoop 101 for our audience that might be sort of yeah. the CNBC crowd and might not be as familiar with, with Hadoop? Is, can, can we do that? Yeah, you know, that's so actually... What, uh, what I, is Hadoop? I, Where did it come from? I preach so often to the choir that I forget that much right. of the world... <laughs> Look, back in the day, if you had a data problem, if you needed to run business analytics, you wrote the biggest check you could to Sun Microsystems, <laughs> and you bought a great big single box central server. And any money that was left over, you handed to Oracle for database licenses. And you installed that database on that box, and that was where you went for data. That was your temple of information, right? <laughs> Expensive there's <temple>. a <laughs> There's a problem with that strategy, and that is, data is growing faster than computers are getting bigger now. That means you can no longer, in the long term, have one box with all your data on it. It just is impossible for that to stay true. The curves are absolutely irrevocable, right? Data needs to be spread across many, many servers. This system was built by the biggest web properties on the planet who ran into that problem maybe five years before the CNBC crowd to solve that problem. So they had a lot of data, uh, Google, Facebook, Yahoo, spread that data across many servers and built a software system that knew how to coordinate, interoperate, and could run really powerful new analytics. The kind of business questions you want to ask of sensor data or long-term historical tick level trade detail or name your large heterogeneous data source. This platform was built to solve the data and analytics problems that are confronting businesses today, not the ones that were the fodder for the relational market in the 80s and the 90s. Now, uh, uh, Mike, what kind of companies besides, say, Google, Facebook, Twitter, are using Hadoop? Has it gone mainstream? Yeah, we see adoption in several key verticals, clusters of adoption in financial services, in telecommunications, in retail, certainly in government applications. Uh, but it's not limited to those verticals. And the thing that excites me most is, as a database lifer is that this is a broad horizontal platform. We see adoption in different vertical markets, a wide representative sample of the technology industry. A few, excuse me, a few verticals are further ahead. Uh, for example, telco and financial services, we see real clusters. But I'm convinced that we're building, just as the relational vendors did in the early 80s, the platform of the future for business